Hey there, science fans. Have you ever wondered how electricity gets from power plants to your home? It's a long journey and it wouldn't be possible without the help of some amazing devices called transformers. Transformers are like the superheroes of the electrical grid. They're responsible for changing the voltage of electricity, making it possible to transmit power efficiently over long distances. Without transformers, we'd be living in a much darker world. But how do these electrical marvels actually work? Well, it all comes down to a fascinating phenomenon known as electromagnetic induction. Let's dive in and explore the secrets of transformers together. Electromagnetic induction is a fundamental principle in physics that describes how electricity and magnetism are interconnected. It was discovered by the brilliant Michael Faraday in the 19th century. In simple terms, electromagnetic induction tells us that a changing magnetic field can create an electric current in a conductor and vice versa. Imagine a conductor like a wire placed near a magnet. When the magnet is moved or its magnetic field changes, it induces an electric current to flow in the wire. This mind-blowing phenomenon is the driving force behind many technologies we use every day, including generators, motors, and of course, transformers. Now that we understand the basics of electromagnetic induction, let's see how it's applied in transformers to control the flow of electricity. A transformer, at its heart, is a relatively simple device. It consists of two or more coils of wire wrapped around a magnetic core, usually made of iron. The first coil, where the input voltage is applied, is called the primary coil. When an alternating current flows through the primary coil, it creates a changing magnetic field in the iron core. This magnetic field then expands and collapses rapidly, inducing a current in the second coil, called the secondary coil. The beauty of transformers lies in their ability to step up or step down the voltage depending on the number of turns in the coils. If the secondary coil has more turns than the primary coil, the voltage is stepped up. Conversely, if it has fewer turns, the voltage is stepped down. Just like there are different tools for different jobs, there are various types of transformers designed for specific purposes. They can be classified based on several factors, including Transformers can use different materials for their cores. Air core transformers use, you guessed it, air as the core, while iron core transformers use laminated iron cores for greater efficiency. Transformers are often categorized as step-up or step-down transformers, depending on whether they increase or decrease the voltage. Core type and shell type transformers differ in how their coils are wound around the core. Large transformers generate heat and require cooling systems. They can be oil-cooled, air-cooled, or use a combination of both. Some transformers have unique designs and functions. Isolation transformers provide electrical isolation for safety. Auto transformers use a single winding for both primary and secondary coils. Instrument transformers are used for measurement and protection in electrical systems. Transformers are the unsung heroes of our modern electrical infrastructure. They make it possible to transmit power efficiently over long distances, ensuring that we have the electricity we need to power our homes, businesses and lives.